So when building batteries and supercapacitors, uh, one ingredient that you need is the binder. And the binder is basically a glue that uh, glues together the active, active material for the battery or supercapacitor. And so uh, I came across this uh, really simple and effective binder. Uh, it's called casein glue. Basically, uh, it's made of uh, casein, which is a protein found in milk. And so uh, when it dries, it becomes water resistant, which is a uh, important for uh, supercapacitors and batteries because if the binder is not water resistant then it will be dissolved and the active material would uh, not be bound together anymore. So uh, uh, casein is a protein found in milk. It's not soluble in the water but uh, it's found in tiny particles that are dispersed uh, throughout the water. So uh, to extract the casein from the milk you basically add an acid which causes the particles to stick together. So I've got some milk that I've heated up in the microwave to make it hot, and that makes the reaction go faster. And uh, the lower the fat content of the milk, the better the glue is because the fat will mess up with the glue. So uh, the lower the fat content, the better. So here I have uh, 50 milliliters of milk that I've heated up, and to this I'm going to add 10 milliliters of vinegar. So I'm going to add it in. And the vinegar should change the pH so that the casein particles start to stick to each other. And so to speed it up, I have a spoon. I'm just going to stir it, help the particles stick together. So you just keep stirring until it starts to stick together. So the milk particles have stuck together to form larger particles, and you can't really see it on the camera, but you can see the residues on the container. And so uh, the next step is to filter out all these particles. So the uh, filter doesn't need to be too good, because the particles are quite big. So I've just got some tish, uh, tissue paper, just going to pour it in the filter. So it's done filtering now, and I've uh, removed the filter, and you can see the mixture that's uh, filtered out here, and that mixture is mostly uh, casein and fat. So uh, it's still pretty wet, so I'm going to take a paper towel and just press it over and absorb most of that moisture from that uh, filtrate. So after you've pressed out most of the moisture from the filtrate, uh, you take uh, 15 milliliters of water and you uh, scoop up the filtrate and put it in. So uh, you put it in the water and then you take a spoon and you mix it well. And you can see that there's still some large particles there because uh, there's still traces of vinegar and that uh, causes some of the particles to stick together. So uh, you need to neutralize that vinegar with a base to allow the particles to be uh, dispersed throughout the water. So uh, I've got some baking soda, which is a pretty handy base. And then you take uh, pinches of it and you put it in. You stir that until the uh, large particles of casein and fats start to disper disperse uh, evenly throughout the water. So I'll keep doing that. So now the particles of casein and fat are dispersed uh, pretty evenly throughout the fluid. Uh, you can see how smooth the mixture is. So uh, now, you, now you're done. You've got the casein binder. So uh, you just have to store this in an uh, airtight container that uh, won't let the water evaporate because that would be bad. So I've got a plastic bag and so once I seal it, there should be no evaporation. So that should keep the glue uh, stored. So I'm just going to seal it to prevent any evaporation, and there we go. That's uh, how you make the casing glue, and you can use it as a binder for supercapacitors and batteries, and yeah.